Welcome to episode two of my Frequently Asked Questions series. Now, if you are new to PO Cruises and are booked on Arvia, then this video is for you. Don't forget to press the like button. Pack my things up carefree. Adventures waiting. I'm heading out, heading out to see the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. Now, in episode one, I talked about from the moment you booked your cruise holiday to the moment you got on board. In this episode, I answer the most frequently asked questions about what to do the moment you get on board Arvia to the moment you disembark. Just a couple of things I recommend you do when you get on board Arvia. That's go to your cabin and watch your safety video. Once you've done that, then you can go to your muster station and get your key card swiped with the staff on board. Once you've done that, just go to deck six or seven, the atrium, find the My Holiday app station and book any remaining shows or restaurants if you want to book them in advance. To use the My Holiday app, all you have to do is put your smartphone in aeroplane mode. Then connect to the ship using PO Cruises Guest Wi Fi. Once you've done that, then you scan the QR code and enter the last six digits of your cruise card. In this video, it shows you exactly step by step guide. There are My Holiday apps throughout the ship uh, on day one, throughout the atrium to help you, and also information in your cabin. My Holiday app is really good if you want to book a show, book spaces in the children's children's club you can view your onboard account uh, you can join a virtual queue for dining and make dining reservations so most things can be done via the my holiday app magnetic clips i bought these on amazon these are great for hanging things up on the wall like your daily planner and cruising excursion tickets over the wall hangers again for amazon these are great for little knickknacks uh, to put on your cabin wall and of course they are hung up with magnetic hooks great tip water bottle don't forget to take it with you because there are plenty water bottle filling stations uh, throughout the ship first aid bag this is a must for any holiday irrelevant of whether it's a cruise or not sewing kit now these are great if you need a pair of scissors or if you need a safety pin to hold your dress up Magic leaves, great if you want to use the laundrette on board and they don't take any space up in your suitcase. Towel clips, B&M bargains, a couple of pounds on those windy days, these really do come in handy. Tea and coffee making facilities in your room, so if you do want to take your own tea bags, then don't forget to pack them. Finally, highlighter pens, great if you want to highlight the day's activities on your daily planner. Now, if you didn't want to use a laundrette on your deck, which is free, you can use the laundry services of the ship. Now, if you wanted something ironing, then as long as you give it to your cabin steward before 10 a.m., you are guaranteed a same day return. They also do an offer, 10 items to be washed and pressed for 32 pounds. All other items are all charged individually, as you can see. Now, if keeping in touch with family and friends on board Arvia is important to you, there are different ways of paying for your internet. You can either go with p Cruises, which they charge £12 a day for the essential package or £18 a day for the ultimate package. You can also contact your mobile phone provider before you go on board and see how much they charge because Vodafone only charged me £6 a day when I was in port or of course speak to the crew because they will recommend some cafes in port that offer free Wi-Fi so there's always ways of saving money if you want to keep in touch with family and friends. Every charge on board PO Cruises Arvia and it's £2.50. If you'd like breakfast in bed, then you just fill out the form and you give it to the cabin steward before 10 pm the previous night and a time that you'd like it delivered. And the breakfast items are free, you just pay the £2.50 delivery charge. 
If you want to order off the room service menu, there's quite a good selection of choice. Again, it's £2.50 delivery charge and you just pay for the item. So if you wanted, for example, a roast beef sandwich, it's £1.50 and then your £2.50 delivery charge on top. Now, although most restaurants close at 9.30pm, you'll be pleased to know that there is late snacks, which if you head up over to Horizon on deck 16, then from 11pm to 1.30am, you can get some snacks. Now, as for the bars, the majority of the bars uh, close at 11pm to 11.30, but there are Brodie's, the Clubhouse and 710 Club that are open till late. If you're like me and you run out of currency whilst you're on board your holiday, then you can ask for more currency on board. Just go to Guest Relations and they will give you up to £250 in either US dollars or euros on board and charge it to your onboard account. Now, if you were booked on a fly cruise and you'll receive one of these envelopes in your cabin 48 to 72 hours of departure, it gives you all the information you need about disembarkation day and it also includes your luggage tags. Now, on disembarkation day, you need to be out of your cabin at 9am. You then take all your hand luggage over to the theatre where they will be stored for you until it's time to be picked up towards to go for your flight, which is three to three and a half hours before your flight time. Now, you can either get off the ship like we did and we went to spend the day on a beach in Barbados or if not, you can book a day room. Now, if you want to book an ocean view, then it's £55 for the room or a balcony is £70 for the room. These are on a first come first serve basis and you can have the cabin from 10am till 3pm. You're in port and you want to get off the ship but you don't know what deck the gangway is on. All you need to do is get into the lift and press the star button, it'll take you straight down to the gangway. Who knew? If you are booked on our here, then you are in for the most amazing time. These are just some of the frequently asked questions that I get every single day. If you have got any further questions, then just type your question in the comments box and I'll do my best to answer them for you. But in the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.